my name is David Reedman and I'd like to welcome you to my Tuesday night fun and games live show every Tuesday night on YouTube at 8 o'clock come and join in Hello and good evening everybody. My name is David Reedman and welcome to my Tuesday night live fun and games. Unfortunately, it's not every Tuesday night. When you can catch me online these days, it's, uh, it's a rare occasion, unfortunately. Most important thing is I have a new microphone and can you hear me? You know, it would be such a shame to start the show tonight and you can't even hear me. So give me a bit of feedback. Let's have a look who's online. If you're just tuning in, my name's David Reedman. Hopefully you can hear me, you know, because it's been a while and uh, I needed like an hour tonight to set it all up again to be able to be online finally. So let's have a look. Who's online? Who's online? Let's have a look. Uh, Kate. Um, let's go to the top. Sarah, of course. Can you hear me, people? That's the most important thing. Give me a, a thumbs up. Am I loud enough? You know, and once we know that you can hear me, of course, because I'm all alone here in my room, um, you know. Um, yes, but not on my headphones. They are broke. Loud and clear, says Sam. Um, great stuff. Grace is online, Barcelona. Hola, que tal? D-Metal Rock. Would die to see you dressed as a Mickey Mouse. <laughs> Tiger Woods, moin, moin, moin. That's very nice. The Hurricane is a killer song, man. From Sam Scott. Yeah, you know, it's um, it's been pretty mad, you know. A lot of people think, wow, you know, David's really busy at the moment. Of course, over the corona time, you know, life went on, of course. Things were a lot quieter at that time. And uh, also a better time for making solo records, of course. We're getting there. We are getting there. I'm sent the, uh, the, the latest song to Dennis. He's on tour very soon with uh, Magnum, uh, a British band. And I hope to uh, see Dennis and Magnum on the 17th. Is that the 17th? or the Yeah, the 17th of this month. It's a Sunday night. He's playing in the Netherlands. I haven't seen Dennis for a while. We've been working together, obviously mixing the record, but I haven't actually seen him. He could have short hair, a long beard, a short beard, long hair. Anything could happen with Dennis. He's, he's like Madonna in a way, you know, <laughs> changing his image all the time. Tonight, I don't have a can of the green stuff. Um, I decided, doc, doctor's orders. He said, Dave, you know, you've been drinking that green stuff. It's like an energy drink type sort of thing. He said, you're getting old and it's time to stop doing that so so at this point in my life i don't drink i don't eat meat uh i don't drink coffee i don't drink coke so now i've cut, I've cut down on the energy drink i don't know what i'm gonna do and i'm that boring guy that i used to meet sometimes when i was a younger guy myself and think how the hell does this guy get his kicks but it is possible it is possible to still have a good time who's online ladies and gents let's have a look here boom 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 andy i i can hear you andy have we met before britta metzger uh is online great to see you oh spirit yes sir we can hear you echter hammer yeah ich war ja am wochenende echt wunderschön mal wieder in deutschland Ich glaube, Fanaf, Fanaf, <laughs> Fanaf. I think from yesterday they, uh, is it the fourth? Uh, might, yeah, from yesterday they stopped wearing the masks. In the Netherlands, let's go back to obviously the subject that we don't really want to talk about, but real quick, because it is interesting. Uh, I was over there on a weekend playing with a band called Cover Snake, 
and it was fantastic we had a great weekend finally back into germany without any real big trouble registering maybe i needed to register but i didn't um you know they still have all the, the places for testing and you needed your corona app and all that business and masks everywhere of course in the netherlands we haven't had that for a few months now so it's kind of like it's kind of like something that happened, but it's not there anymore. And I think they've been relieved of the masks since yesterday. So it's fantastic. I think it's, you know, when you're surrounded by these countries like the Netherlands and, and other countries where, like Belgium, where they're not wearing masks anymore, it's kind of, it's kind of silly then in a way. Of course, you've got your stuff going on in the country. But it gets to a point where you can't really, you know, it's, it's like, why? You know, you, you travel on the train in the Netherlands. And of course, when I went into Germany, I had to wear the mask and, and uh, which I didn't, of course. But uh, that's rock and roll. Anyway, great to be back online. It's been a while. I've done lots of different things. Um, recently, I did a, um, a quick vlog about this band, uh, uh, Freakstorm, that I, I'm, I'm involved in. This fantastic... German band, uh, woman fronted, lady fronted, uh, 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 melodic, almost uh, uh, um, modern in a way. I, I have to describe it, I'm not really sure, but really good songwriting. And um, Dennis mixed it. It's basically a re release. We plan to make a video. I plan to meet up with these guys from the Cologne area. And um, I'm, I've not joined the band, you know, I, I'm, I'm just basically a, just. A guest uh, but it feels fantastic and uh, um, I haven't actually met these people but that's how it goes these days you know we we did this thing together it sounds really fantastic it's getting already so you know an amazing support from from different areas and uh, it's just great to be involved with different people you know people you wouldn't necessarily meet up with you know you might meet up with people on tour and stuff but that's the good side of the internet of course that you know it's possible to do those kind of things tonight we're gonna have a bit of fun we're gonna get a bit serious and stuff it could be a bit more serious tonight than fun actually because it's been a while and you never know who's tuning in and they might think what the hell is this you know so tonight i want to look a little bit um i'm meeting up with alex byrock very soon we're going to make a new voodoo circle record and we're going to touch a little bit on the last Voodoo Circle record, the Locked and Loaded record. And this was a record that we released, I guess at the beginning of, of um, last year. Um, I have a package here. Unfortunately, I didn't get it recently, but it's still in there. I was cleaning up the studio, getting ready for this live thing tonight. And I found, oh, there's a, maybe a CD in there as well. Oh yeah, man, cool. Didn't know. <laughs> But um, I was finding these locked and loaded uh, vinyls. Um, you know, this record came out, actually I should look on the back, maybe there's even a date when it was out, but uh, possibly not. Um, yeah, it was it was 2020, so was that last year? It wasn't last year, it was a year before maybe even, oh my God. But um, yeah, you know, we released the record and it, and it was at a time when, you know, we were heavily in lockdown and all that kind of thing. and. You can't support a record, you know, you, you, you release it and it kind of, it's like dropping a, a hot cake, you know, and, and it just sort of gets lost in oblivion, you know, and that's unfortunate what happened with this record, unfortunately. Fantastic record. I was looking inside at the vinyl and uh, this is the gold one. It's actually the gold vinyl that we did. Absolutely beautiful thing absolutely fantastic almost a shame to put it on the old record player that i've got and um which i probably won't because it's just too fantastic and this one's really cool this is a red one as you can see that's just fantastic i hope you can see it with a camera that's just beautiful and um you know really proud of this record so we're gonna you know we're gonna meet up again we're gonna make a new record we're really happy about that of course but like I said to Alex, you know, we we made this record. We we put our our heart into it. You know, we 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 put so much work into it, and it just somehow gets lost in a way because of of, of the whole situation. You know, so um, just in case you need to be reminded of of this record, ladies and gents, boys and girls, let's go a little bit to this.
Yeah, man, you remember that one? Locked and loaded, the video came out. Of course, it was at a time... Now, these days, we could meet up and we could quite easily make a video, but at the time, it was it was maybe possible, but it, it meant, you know, travelling over borders at that time was, was almost impossible, really. It meant filling out forms, it meant having certain vaccines and all that kind of nonsense, you know, that we all, all went through, basically. Good and bad. And uh, that was the, the single that we, that we, we released. Um, also, we released, uh, I guess, the first track, um, which was very uh, uh, Led Zeppelin like It's funny looking at this record now, Devil Wood and Angel Smile. It was out in 20... It says 2020 on, on here, but it was I guess it was 21, the, the release. I just looked at the... The comments and um let's have a quick look who's online maybe there's a few questions that's going on there um man I, at this point in the game i certainly need my my tin, tin of green stuff that's for sure <laughs> let's have a look who's online that's a looky look we got some questions coming a, a great cd thank you sarah kate barnwell great video not bad not bad Yes, Noriko from Japan. Konnichiwa. Yes, I have it too, this LP. I have a pale brown one. Oh, that's great. I think it's kind of a golden thing somehow. Yeah, the vinyl says 2020. So it's... Yeah, it's... Oh, my God. Locked and Loaded shows a release date of 2021. Maybe the vinyl's wrong, actually. That's funny. Great to see you, Astrid. Sam Scott. Does it feel to be good to be performing again? Well, you know, this... The weekend was my second second gig uh, this year, which is incredible. It's already April. I got two more shows uh, this month. And uh, it's funny because people have been really contacting me like every day. It's like almost every day there's been another gig. You know, I, I really hope that that's it now. And we can, you know, there's, there can be other things happening, but... I think we can get on with our lives now slowly but surely and that's that feels really fantastic you know from my side um it was really good the only thing that is which is unfortunate a little bit is you know once you you're out there all the time and you're busy right you you know your voice is in good shape now i've been recording i've been doing stuff i was actually quite sick um like two or three weeks ago I was really quite sick and I checked and everything did all the tests it was like negative but I was I was sick you know and it affected my voice and so I left it for a while and I've kind of built it up a, a little bit again but it's not what I used to have you know and it's not like it's anything's really happened or anything but I think it's like that possibly for a lot of singers because singing on, on on stage for two hours you know is a lot different than messing around in, in a singing box you know so i do miss that in respect and also how to connect with the people you you know you you hone like a, a system or you you know you've got something going on about how to deal with a show how to start it it doesn't go away you know that experience that you've got but um you know you lose those things these are tools that you you, you, that you lose that you're not necessarily doing these things anymore and I realized that on the weekend it was fine it was a good gig we had a good night uh, I think the people appreciated it people were, were rocking and, and, and getting involved in the show they were kind of a, a bit far away and I managed to get the people to come up to the front which is the old the old uh, the good old his you know we all know those situations maybe we were too loud or whatever also met it with some fantastic friends uh, from Germany as well that night and uh, yeah it's it's weird in that respect but it's not a biggie it's not something to worry about or complain about whatever these things have come back um, I'm out on the 22nd also with another tribute band that seems to be the thing at the moment um, you know being out with Pink Cream or Voodoo Circle at the moment doesn't seem possible but we got stuff coming up in July we play at the uh, Masters of Rock um, in, in Czech Republic with Pink Cream 69 and uh, like I said I'll meet, I'll meet with Dennis for the first time in a while uh, this month in the Netherlands and um, just at the moment I'm happy to be able to get out there whatever it is you know it's got to be good stuff so I'll be out with a band called White Shake another <laughs> White Snake tribute it seems like that's going to be my future or whatever and um, yeah I'll be out with those guys in Bremen 
um, in Messefrey, I think it's called in, in Bremer, which is not too far away from me in respect, but it's still still quite you know still quite a good travel. I set off on, on Friday uh, to Germany and the weather was horrendous. We'd had really just this fantastic, almost uh, spring-like weather and uh, Friday it was snowing. So I was like, you know, you know, I don't need this now. But it all worked out. Got back in one piece, which is the most important thing. And um, yeah, going back to the Voodoo Circle thing, um, you know, obviously we released a couple of singles, but my favorite song on that record has to be this one this track magic woman child he's singing that It's great listening back, but you know, it's really funny. It's like you've, you know, when you're recording vocals, you, maybe you've got, you got musicians out there, you're playing guitar or whatever. You're, you're kind of like setting something in stone, you know, for, for, for forever. It was a moment that, you know, that you, and I, I enjoy that kind of thing. You know, when I listen to a Led Zepp record, I, you're not only listening to the music, but you're listening to 1976, July or whatever that day, that time, set in time. You know, you can hear the sound of the room or whatever. And um, obviously if they make a video, it's even better, but you know, it's the same thing for this. Obviously I recorded the vocals up here in my box in the studio. So in a way you've got to like create that live rock and roll thing. You're still on your own in a box and you've got to be able to somehow, you know, imagine the whole rock and roll thing and, and bring it on, 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 on on, on tape, you know, which is not always easy by any means. But uh, yeah, nice to, to listen back and uh, remember the lyrics. Who's online? Did you check out Alex's new record, says Tiger? I also, when I, when I think, when I see your name, maybe I'm pronouncing it wrong, but I always think about Tiger, Tiger from, uh, from James Bond film, because I'm a James Bond fan, big star. Everybody, people's going to hate me for that, but I do like a bit of zero zero 007. And uh, I see your name, Tiger. I think about Tiger from a James Bond film. Yeah, I've seen the, the artwork. I haven't, I haven't actually chance to really listen to it properly. I guess he's he's sending me a copy, I hope. But he's, he's busy sending it out to a lot of different people. He's just released his first solo record, which is called Weekend Warrior. Now, I remember that because Weekend Warrior means... You probably know that yourself. It's about basically any kind of musician that maybe works through the week and on the weekend they go out fighting and, and uh, creating music. Not fighting literally, but, you know, they're out there hunting and, and, and doing the music and, 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 you know, and it's a great title. Great title. Bond movies. Absolutely. Oh, exactly. That's my favorite one. Magic Woman Child. Yeah. Kate Barnwell, I'm glad you are better. Yeah, I was, I was, I was not good. It was, you know, I never really get sick. Touch wood. I seem to be able to manage in generally, but that got me. Did did that one, and and I really thought I had COVID, but um, you know, I had a fever the whole, the whole nine. Um, but it 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 didn't show positive. So who knows? Who knows what 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 the hell that hell that was? You know. Yeah, we got a few people online. We got. Uh, 25 people online, which is fantastic. Sam says, Sam Scott says, favorite Bond movie. Favorite Bond movie. Now, I do have a box set that I pull out every now and then and watch it from front to back. And sometimes, you you know, you see it on TV or whatever. Um, good question. I do like Casino Royal with, um, with the new Bond. I do enjoy that film. It's very special. And it's funny that when he... he He's checking out the um, he's checking out a CD of the the parking. Um, he's in Jamaica in a in a hotel, and he needs to check out the footage from the uh, 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 the parking place at the hotel. 
and he pulls out his telephone and it's the 6th of July and that's my birthday and that's funny you know you don't often see your birthday really there but it's the 6th of July he's looking for um, and that's my birthday funny enough but um, now I enjoyed that Casino Royal and of course I'm a massive fan of of course of, uh, of I like Roger Moore uh, but the first Bond of course uh, Sean Connery um, you know that's 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 anything with, with Sean Connery I think I can dig basically I think Roger was a bit too tongue in cheek he he was pulling kind of funny stuff sometimes a few funny lines and stuff which I didn't I don't necessarily enjoy the the humor the humorous uh, bond you know I need to I need to have a bit of a macho kind of bond but Diana asked just last week I was listening to you on uh, Mr. Mercurius CD your vocals were great thank you very much yeah that's a record that sort of kind of got lost it was it was it was a great record um i remember being in the studio i could do a vlog about that actually um with dc cooper i sang uh two tracks on that record and um there's a lot of great people involved in that record but unfortunately it there was some kind of trouble um some falling out or whatever i think dennis didn't end up mixing it somebody else mixed it it was some kind of trouble money time whatever I think everybody was in the studio for for a long time. Th that was those were the days where you could afford to go in a studio and, and work like full time in a studio and not have to worry about the costs and and, and stuff like that. So uh, that was that was an amazing time. I, you know, those two tracks were still stick out to me. And and uh, I'd worked with with DC Cooper earlier on his solo record. I did some backing vocals, and we played in japan um like a double bill thing pink cream 69 and dc cooper so i've met dc before that we meet up again when he was doing the silent force stuff with alex Byro. so it's kind of a circle really it all so somehow connects but someone like dc i haven't seen for many years now um there was a time that i saw him a lot now he was a lot in germany but um that's been a while now natsuko hi well, we got it's incredible tonight. We got Brazil online. We got uh, we got uh, an actor, an actor. Yes, very difficult your name. <laughs> an actor's online from Brazil. We got Noriko from Japan. We got the UK. We got Germany. You know, we got Los Angeles. I'm probably going to miss somebody out. We got Hamburg. Um, we got Tiger from Saarland, one of my favourite places in Germany. Absolutely, the, those people, those people down there, you know, they're they're just so laid back, and you know, I always like to tell jokes. I I enjoy telling jokes to this day, funny jokes, and uh, I have two or three like favourite jokes that I can't necessarily tell you tonight, unfortunately. But uh, <laughs> I remember the one of the last gigs that I did before the Corona we met up with alex and we'd done the you know we'd done the pre-production for locked and loaded and we did this great gig in in Saarland in the city and it was like the last real gig that i did before the before the lockdown and um just before that we sat in a circle backstage and we spent like an hour of people just telling jokes you know and that is Saarland. great people laid back really friendly people it's just different there in a way old-fashioned somehow old-fashioned you know um but just just really a fantastic place you know let's move on a little bit um recently you've realized i've realized that uh i made a record for frontiers records uh the band is black eye and uh, we just released the second uh single um space travel or is it the landing <laughs> space travel it's almost like when i make a record i kind of move on i do listen back um at some point but it's painful sometimes it's almost like making a film i guess but uh no we're gonna what we're gonna do we're gonna check out a little bit of the 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 lyric video that's just been released now really fantastic marco from pink frame 69 he just sent me a, a message on whatsapp congratulating me on this track about my vocal skills and everything and I said to him, you know, thank you so much. I did what I did, you know. Um, 
it's in a way back to the roots a little bit for me because it's returning to stuff like season madness from pink room 69 it's quite high you know for considering you know what i've been doing recently with my voice so quite interesting let's let's, let's check this next track out it's just been released um here we go folks my name is David Riemann and I'd like to take this chance today to introduce you to my new t-shirt my new artwork you can pick it up on this link down below this is the artwork to my new solo record Medusa and the single that will be released next month on the 2nd of the 4th like I said you can pick it up from this link below all proceeds from this t-shirt from the sales Anything that's made on top basically goes back into my record anyway. I'm doing a GoFundMe and you can check out. This is what, how far we got so far. Going really good. Check out my YouTube channel. Like and subscribe. See you soon. Adios! Yeah, a little bit of a plug there for the for t-shirts, the of course. The website is still there, ladies and gents, boys and girls. And uh, if you want to support the, the record still, all the proceeds from, from the t-shirts. I've received a lot of amazing pictures from everybody and uh, all, the, all the money basically goes back into, in, into the making of the record. We're still working on the artwork with, with Jobert. And that's a good way to go into the next subject, which I like, which I really celebrated recently. Uh, I finally got my new website online. It was created by Jobert and his lovely wife there and uh andy and uh yeah we made an i made a nice vlog of course about these guys really friendly top professional people absolutely outstanding you know and uh they're from brazil brazil is a very special place like japan and of course the rest of the world but brazil is definitely a very important place for me i've been there two times with pink cream 69 and it was it was both times just an, an incredible an incredible time they made for me a new website let's check it out real quick um 
yeah, you guys can, you know, basically, uh, let me just see what we can do here. Yeah, new websites online. Go and check it out. All my vlog videos and stuff like that are on there, of course. And um, yeah, feels really great. The last the the last website was uh, basically put up uh, by Jobert um, when I released my uh, first solo record, basically when I re-released it. So he made the the second one, which is just uh, uh, fantastic yeah so you know there's been lots of things going on um the second single of, of black eye which you checked out there and uh, like i said marco was congratulating me on on the amazing vocals and um yeah i'd you know we'd we'd, we'd made a record it was finished towards the end of last year actually and, and that's important you need time you need a good run-up of course to you know to prepare the promotion and get ready for the release of course and uh it feels good to finally, you know, get it out there. And what's really important, of course, we need clicks on that video. I think the, f the first single, uh, Hurricane, uh, was something like 80, 90,000 clicks or whatever, which is incredible, you know. And, um, yeah, I mean, we, uh, I met Aldo. That's obviously what I'm going to move on to next. Um, I met Aldo Lenoble, the guitar player, finally, that, you know, obviously we made this record together for Frontiers Records. And uh, he's already told me that there's a very strong possibility that we're going to play some live shows uh, in, in Italy, some festivals and stuff like that, which is just absolutely fantastic. Yeah, um, basically, um, I got the opportunity to meet up with, um, with Aldo and, of course, Alexandro Del Vecchio, uh, which I'm sure a lot of you guys know from, uh, um, uh, yeah, he was in Voodoo Circle, he played keyboards, he he's a mixing, mastering type sort of guy, great singer, keyboard player, worked with uh, definitely, you know, definitely many different artists, especially, you know, if he's involved with Frontiers Records. And uh, he played recently, uh, basically around the corner, a place called Bredar. And I met up with him for the first time in probably about five years. So I think I posted some some nice pictures of uh, our meeting recently. And uh, no, it felt good. We had a, we had a nice chat. My ears were still kind of blocked up from having a cold. I've been recovering from from that, and uh, slowly getting back into business and 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 uh, getting some uh, getting my recordings done, of course. Let's see who's online, folks. Oh, whoa, oh, oh. whoa. There's been a lot written here. Oh, my goodness me. I was just saying, I thought it's because I don't give you any pressure. Well, it's it's coming on great. It's taking time. Dennis is basically the mixing guy. He's home. Very soon, he's going to be mixing the next couple of tracks. I have to admit, on one track, we decided to not do the track. So, basically, I've had to, you know... <laughs> find a different track because it wasn't up to standard it wasn't the quality Dennis decided he didn't like the song and it was disappointing for me of course because I want to get the record finished but he's right you know um, all the other songs are so strong the material is really strong I want it to be a great record because we've all you know we were all making we're all making this record together so I decided, okay, let's let's do a whole different song. I'm not going to mess around with this song anymore. It's painful because I do like the song, but I'm going to go with his opinion. So it's taking a bit longer, but we're getting finally to the last, you know, the last hurdles, you know. And it's been a monster. It's been an emotional roller coaster ride making this record because. It is so much work and you're doing it all yourself. You know, normally you might work with a producer, you might work with a record company or professional people, um, and you're doing it yourself and it's it's tough. It's difficult. You know, you, you're dealing with, you know, people, you know, like, you know, coming out with good comments or bad stuff, critics. You know, you gotta you gotta have a thick skin in this business and but it's coming on. It's getting there. This record will get done. Thank you, Anakta. Amazing website. Thank you so much from Brazil. 
Oh, that's you, Andy Jobin and me. A pleasure to work with you, dear. Right, Andy. Now you see, because <laughs> it's so funny, you know, people have got like a little, little pictures. Like, for example, yeah, Noriko, you, I can tell it's her, of course. We met in Japan. Now, Andy and, and Jobert, I've I've never met before, you know. You know, I can imagine what Jobert looks like. I've seen pictures, and, and Andy, I've seen little small pictures. And it is strange these days working with people quite close, um, but you're not necessarily met them or really talked to them face-to-face. -face. That is quite strange. But now I can face-to-face -face say to you live, if you're hopefully you're still online, <laughs> thank you so much for the amazing website it's just so incredible you, you did an, a, an, an outstanding job you know let's be honest you know yourself uh you know you made the website and there was really nothing to say you know you you knew what i needed you know it was it was done you know obviously there might need to be a few updates news wise and stuff like that that's that's obviously a different ball game but uh so much better than my last my, my last website and then most important than anything else it's got all the connections to all the social media and stuff like that so guys if you want to go and check it out you know it's got the news it's got all the releases and she really really went in there and looked around for my releases that were missing you know videos and, and also the the web shop for the t-shirts and stuff like that really went at it so if you guys need you know some kind of web presence website she does a lot of different stuff go and check this uh, young lady out you can probably make connection over uh, sledgehammer graphics they're not hiding in, in the internet absolutely fantastic thank you so much no 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 pressure some uh, Sam Scott says have you heard of the melody place one under Dennis Ward Play some pieces on. I was wondering what was on there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Place Fun Dome. I think that was with, with Kisco, wasn't it? Now, if you check out the first or second record, I think you'll find that there is a song on there that I co-wrote with Alfred Coughlin. So Michael, Michel, Michael Kister is singing a song that I wrote, which is <laughs> pretty mad, really. You know, great singer famous guy and um yeah somebody that not necessarily was never really like something that i listened to personally i was always more 70s you know i was always like paul rogers and uh, led zepp and white snake of course uh, coverdale but um yeah i'm involved in some way on on on, on one of those records so uh, yeah fantastic just going down andy's in there marion from saarland good evening everybody hope you're well yeah, it's just been once again really th fantastic tonight, you know. And uh, yeah, what can I say? Um, it's it's just been it's just been really cool. Let's go back to the main video here real quick. Um, yeah, I think we've you know I could talk forever, and there's always there's lots of stuff going on, and sometimes you forget what you're doing in, in, in your life, of course, and. You take it for granted you know people think you're really busy and you're doing lots of stuff and sometimes you take for granted what you're actually doing and how, how busy you are and what you know the things that you are doing of course but hope you guys are enjoying the new uh, black eye i think you're going to enjoy it it's uh definitely a return to form and um you know um recently i guess the last release from my solo record was on the 25th so that's already a few months ago which is which is something else but um I've kept busy with the vlogs and I'm going to keep busy with that. I've still got lots of different videos and stuff with Pink Cream 69 and all that kind of stuff. So much information, so much to talk about, you know, and uh, yeah. Just in case anybody didn't realize, but my last single was this. Set me free. 
Yeah, that's better, Dave. I, it is a monster job uh, to, to release these singles, of course. That was the 25th of, of, of last year. It was released on Christmas Day. Um, go and check out the video, guys. Click on all the videos. You know, I need, you know, subscribe. I need the support. You know, I really do. It would be nice to get up to a 1,000 subscribers. It's very difficult. I really thought it would be a bit easier. Um, but once you, you know, you hit a 1,000 subscribers, it, it turns on different things on, on YouTube, which is just fantastic. It makes things move a little bit better. It's funny, I released recently for Adagio um, different things. And one video, you can go and check it out. Uh, stringless violin I wrote the lyrics for that one um, it says that it has 10,000 views right now I don't know how that's possible I really don't because that's like the most viewed listened to video that's on my channel which is a lot of it's just a lot of views maybe there's a mistake but that's good um, but um, a lot of interest of course in the in the Adagio stuff I recently just realized there was a comment about playing in Carswell. Well, that'd be really fantastic. You know, Pink Cream 69, after all, is a Carswell band. And, uh, you know, I'm an Englishman that moved to the Netherlands, but I did live in Germany for 20 something years. Um, I do speak German. And it's, it was a big part of my life. So I do, I enjoy returning there. I, I, I try to speak all three languages and it's, a massive part of who I am you know and uh, I've always enjoyed languages I never dreamt that when I lived in Burnley in the UK that I would ever learn you know an extra two languages you know when I was learning French at school and not doing too well at it even though I did enjoy it kind of um, but I never dreamt that I would ever live in a, in a country that I would you know speak like full-time uh, another language than my own language and uh, I really love it. I, it's just a massive part of my life. And I hope soon to be able to re return to the UK. And uh, But first of all, we got to get some vlogs out there. There's got to be some music being made. The solo record's got to be released. And yeah, we got to get some, we got to get out there live again. You know, I'll be out there, like I said, 22nd in Bremen, in the Messe Frey. Um I'll be in the Netherlands in uh, Osterhout on the 27th I think it's King's Day over here they they have a, ho a, a general holiday for everybody so I'll be live then with it with a, a band called um, Superfly and um, yeah it's, it's just things are looking up gigs are coming in all the time you know so uh, thanks for tuning in guys boys and girls everybody from all over the world from uh, let's see from uh, from Japan from obviously Kate thank you very much unfortunately didn't see you on the boat that's a really unfortunate things happen like that but uh, we're coming up to the hour that's good really quick to um, to the chat video we're coming up on the hour Sarah says so we have so we are going to have a solo CD and a party well the last time I had a party was many, many years ago. Believe you, not me. And, uh, yeah. The only time I party these days, of course, is live on stage, to be honest, when I'm rocking and rolling. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's it's going to happen. I'm, I'm, it's, <laughs> I'm going crazy with it. You know, it's up and down. It's a roller coaster. Believe me. But, anyway, thanks for everybody tuning in tonight. Really fantastic. I hope there's been a lot of information for you. Obviously, we talked about the Freak Storm CD. You can check the uh, vlog out and, and maybe go and even check out there uh, a, a video with a track. We're going to make a video with that, so I'll be joining those guys. Um, Solar Records coming on. There's obviously dates coming up. I'm going to fill that up on my new website, of course. And who knows, maybe we meet up along the way and that would be really fantastic. That's what it's all about, you know, at the end of the day. The social side, I do enjoy meeting people, having a nice little chat and uh, that's what it's all about. That's that's what it's about, travelling as a musician and, and meeting the people, you know. Let's have a looky look on the end here. A tea party, okay. Thank you, David, for today's live stream. I hope you're well, Britta. 
Ja, danke schön, Britta. Ich freue mich, dass du da warst, auf jeden Fall. Wir haben miteinander gesprochen, letztens. Das war auch schön, trotz allem. Und ich hoffe, dass bei euch geht ähm, schnell besser. Gute, ja, eine gute Besserung auf jeden Fall. In irgendeiner Form. Das geht schon, aber das braucht Zeit, natürlich. Ne? Und ich freue mich, dass wir uns getroffen haben. Und äh, ich wünsche euch, trotz allem, was passiert ist, einen schönen Abend. Well, we got here. And after says, so nice to see you again. Thank you very much, David. Have a great evening and take care, everybody. Well, it's just fantastic. We've got amazing people on here tonight from all over the world. We've got, I think it's 26 people online now watching, which is pretty good because I've been away for a while. I know that. I'm a naughty boy. But um, there's possibly, let's go back to the main camera real quick. There's only really one thing to say at this point, and... and You know, it's a it's a language that I also love. I don't I don't speak it unfortunately, but also one of my favorite places in the world to be. Obviously, I did the the, the vlog with 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 Gracie. You or Gracie, uh, we were in. Uh, you can check it out on the vlog. We were in Amsterdam on a beautiful sunny day, different weather than it is at the moment, and uh, yeah, it was a fantastic day. Saxon. Um, but yeah, there's only one thing to say, I guess, and that is, adios! Hey, my name is David Reedman, and I'd like to welcome you to my Tuesday night fun and games live show. Every Tuesday night on YouTube at eight o'clock. Come and join in. David Reedman and I'd like to welcome you to my Tuesday night fun and games live show every Tuesday night on YouTube at eight o'clock come and join in <laughs>